<clears throat> hey, ladies, look at us. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey Heartbeats. Hey, Heartbeats. Y'all can see us. We're wearing our hashtag Heartbeats t-shirts, all in the same color. I did it for <laughs> Shauna because, you know, she likes for us to, to be yes. matching sometimes. Yeah, we got to be matching. <laughs> but, like, we go going to King's Dominion. Like, that's okay. why we Oh, God. <laughs> So fun. Donnie Donny Park. Park yeah. Oh, Donny oh, Park. Y'all you know, grow up uh like matching with your like your boyfriend and stuff yeah. like that. I did too. I'm not my boyfriend, but me and my friends, maybe. But I, yeah, I, I, did. I didn't keep a boyfriend long enough to match with him, but oh definitely. alrighty. Well, <laughs> In that case, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was that girl. My dad was like, "You don't need no boyfriend," and I was like, "You right, daddy? I don't that need is, no boyfriend. You go, girl. That's <laughs> like, hey, I love it. <laughs> yes, the matching yeah. thing was good. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my boyfriends growing up definitely did it with my late husband and um, my Irish twin. Nice, um, nice. Dress that I like so, and I I will still do it to this day. I love it. Yeah. Cool. The amusement park is the best, though. Kings Dominion. Uh, y'all dress like y'all like y'all going to Kings Dominion. You know, <laughs> that was like a thing, and the Coca Cola shirts and all the things. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The power of silence. Episode sixty. Okay, I don't know what that was, but um, <laughs> that was I'm supposed to be being silent. Y'all look at these two. Can y'all? They laughed at me. Yes, that was supposed to be something. I don't know what it was. Again, Shana is speaking no evil. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. When we can we started talking about this topic and I'm trying to remember where it derived from, just maybe from our Heart of Chat Wednesdays. Gotta put that out there again. Yeah. Marco Polo. I think it was our Heart of Chat Wednesday. We were just talking about mm -hmm. what it means. And this is like you mentioned earlier, Jeanette, a really good episode right to come right after the power of slowing down, which yeah. is the episode before this one. Yeah. And so I feel like there are two different ways when you're talking about like the power of silence. There's there's the being silent, meaning like shut up, stop talking and be silent sometimes. And then also the getting still and sitting in silence. Right. Um, because we, we are, we're always taking so much in um, all the time. So like starting with um, being being quiet, <laughs> like shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can't I don't have a better word <laughs> so just like stop talking like um stop your words yeah stop, stop your words I like that yeah and so sometimes we get so caught up and there's one thing that my mom told me back when, when I was younger was and I just had this conversation with somebody the other day was when if because I was oh Shauna we had this conversation I was a very defensive kid um, growing up and I still have a lot of that in me and it's only when I feel like I've been wronged or someone's tried to say that I'm something that I'm not mm -hmm. and um so they're lying on me and I remember like just getting so upset about stuff and my mom was like when you're right you don't have to argue it's okay they just let because people are gonna think what they want to think anyway and you just need to just be quiet stop talking and let it go because in trying to prove yourself right sometimes you make a bigger fool of yourself mm -hmm. when it's just best that you just be quiet and let those people make a fool of themselves because the truth is going to come out regardless that's true that's very not true that is their issue and not yours that part yeah you, something you got all you got some stuff going on with you but i'm gonna let you deal with that <laughs> yeah and you go right on and do you mm -hmm. so have right. y'all had had i guess times where you had to like really tell yourself like just stop just don't you know don't say nothing let it go i think about the show that we're watching now um harlem when mm -hmm. angie was in that situation even though part of me felt like she should not have been quiet then but um angie was in that situation i don't know if people are watching so i'm not gonna spoil it completely but you know she had to basically like reel herself in and not say anything because it was like let me just you know being the bigger person um which one is Angie could you remember? she's the actress remember that she was doing the get out play oh okay my girl um yes with the hair yeah yes. yeah but so have y'all had not and maybe not to that extreme but just moments where are there moments in your day where you just be like you know what I just I just need to stop talking right now Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've had that in the past, trying to overprove something, Ooh. overprove it. I was right. 
Yeah, because, and then of course it took three years, but then it was the time that I was right. That was hard to swallow. Like, you know, either somebody was telling the story on me or fed wasn't quite the truth. And then knowing me, knowing the truth, because I lived it, it was really hard to just be quiet. But I felt like me kind of stepping away from it and just laying in the cut This is a, is a term I use a lot. You know, I was like, all right, I'm gonna lay back in the cut because I got all these other things that need my attention right now. Mm-hmm. And this, this doesn't need my voice or my attention. So I just had to stop talking about that situation and just move forward because it was holding me back because I was trying to prove that, you know, I was right and this really did happen and, you know, I was wronged and all the things, but I I had to learn that. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to try to confront the situation. Yeah. What about you, Sean? Shauna's thinking. She's getting silent and she's thinking. Yeah, she's She's about to be real intentional about what she says. (laughs) But all too well. This all started for me as single digit age. Uh, Back to Jeanette, I shared with you that I had a lot of defensiveness inside of me as well. And it was for the same reasons as yours. Someone robbing me of my voice, of my speech, of my truth. Someone assuming that I'm a certain way because someone said I was. I dealt with that a lot, Mm -hmm. single digit age, preteen age. So by the time I got to become an adult, and call the shots, I really moved away from that. Because I, as a child, when we were coming up, it was like, you really wasn't allowed to voice your opinion. Oh, no. Like you are today. And so going through that, it forced me to have to be silent. Mm-hmm. A lot of people thought I was a quiet child when actually I wasn't. I just wasn't in a safe space enough to be able to share my heart Mm -hmm. and so I just kept quiet and kept things to myself which is not good um, as a child or a young person because it's serious buildup and then you're dealing with um, unraveling all of that stuff later which I have been able to do through meditations and you know all of the other types of silence work help Mm -hmm. me you know with with you know undoing what I had to endure and what I went through but I feel like the last three years since my husband passed away, I was pushed into this zone of silence, quieting the mind, the body, and the soul. My soul was tormented because he passed away. My body wasn't able because of my injury. So I had no choice but to lean into this world of silence Mm -hmm. i too don't like the word shut up i grew up hearing Mm -hmm. that it's the most disrespectful word you can ever use it's to me it's cussing words it's it's to me if you ever definitely say that in my grandma's house there's gonna be we're gonna have words about that word i don't Mm -hmm. like it it's very negative it's very you know so i feel like when i'm silent it allows me time to concentrate. It allows me to bring out my best self, my creativity. It gives me keen awareness on my clarity, my focus, the path that I want to be on. And I've been working for many, many years because I come from a familia where everybody likes to talk, but nobody mm-hmm. likes to <laughs> a lot of us do i know for sure comment right mm-hmm. and the problem with that is when everybody is talking and nobody is listening your listening skills kind of get diminished and i remember when i met jeanette one of the most beautiful attributes that i admire about jeanette is her listening skills and it's not her being quiet it's the way she respects the information that's being presented to her, and then she's able to regurgitate it to you in a reflective manner in which it's it's so well received. You're like, she gets me. That's really what a good listener is, is really getting the information. It's not just sitting there listening to, because you could be thinking about a thousand things while that person was talking. That is not an active listener. Mm -hmm. So it is a skill that I have been working on for about, 25 years now that I want to sharpen 
And a lot of people admired me. They loved to talk to me. I had private one-on-ones or chats and things like that. And they tell me how great of a listener I am. So I'm very proud of myself that it's increasing and getting better. So for me, that is the power of being silent. For me, it's because the information that I'm looking for or receiving is in the silence, not in the words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I know I feel like um, a lot of it, like even like with me getting silent when it comes to like listening to other people is just, it's really about just making space for other people and letting other people be heard. There's some people that just want to hear themselves all the time, which it can be a double-edged sword because sometimes like <clears throat> people won't speak up because they don't want to take up space, but then also um, knowing when it's time for you to allow someone else to take up space and for you to just, you know, it's not that you're, um, silence in your voice, but it's just allowing other people to have space to show up as well. Um, so yeah, so that, that's for me getting silent in that way um, allows me to make space for other people. But then like just now sitting in silence is hard for me. It's because I'm so used to like, I'm always thinking about something. So even like with meditation, like I've, I've done it, tried it and I, I like it. Like I, I don't, I like meditating, but it is hard for me. I have to do, um, I have to do guided meditations because it gives me something to focus on versus just sitting there silent because my mind will be thinking about all kinds of things. I'm like, why am I breathing so loud? That sounds <laughs> taking deep breaths. Maybe I should breathe quieter. Like it's just the weirdest stuff ever <laughs> that will pop into your mind. So like still just working, working on that. But I agree with you, Shauna. It does allow you to um just I don't know, like I kind of talked about this in the slowing down at the end of this, um, the power of slowing down, just like getting in touch with like your emotions and your feelings and how like, you know, like how am I feeling in all parts of my body? Like are my shoulders tense up? Am I, am I having pain in my legs? Is, is my hands tingling? Like am I cold? Am I hot? Like just even just getting in tune with, with your body and, and your emotions and everything. I feel like getting silent just kind of helps, helps with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it's, I do the same thing. If I'm silent for too long, I do the I, guided meditation is probably when I do do it, it's probably the best for me because I find myself thinking about did I put the clothes in the dryer? Did a dishwasher run? Like I, I still talk to myself and I'm like, okay, I'm not really zoned in or focused in on you know why I'm here as far as what the meditation is. So I have to really be intentional about that. Is mm. it is it an early morning thing or is it something late at night that I that I have to do? So the timing of it, if it's something like in the middle of the day and I know I have 12 meetings, it's just not going to, I already know that that isn't the best time to do that. So I try mm. to, I try to find those pockets of time where I can have that silence. And even if it's like 15 or 20 minutes over a lunch break, or, or something. I try to find those times just not doing anything. No, no phone, no texting, even no TV, which is hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, so I, I try to do that too. So it can, it can be, it can be challenging, but it's definitely, I think the, the work in progress is, as far as being silent or what that yeah. looks like. For me. So still, still trying to, you know, figure that part out. That's yeah. why I like the title of this episode, The Power of Silence, because I don't always have to be doing something or talking something or yeah. whatever. It's like, okay, I can be silent and maybe allowing like people to reach out to me to say, oh, are you good? Are you okay? And it's like, oh, instead of me being front and center mm -hmm. all the time. So it's, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, it's a work in progress. And I think back to our tour, right? Like, um, some of us thinking that we were just going to be out there with the people as they were coming in and all the things. And I'm like, Shauna, you meditate before everything, any and everything that you do, right? Like, no. And then I like, really taking a step and thinking about why it matters. Like you, you think about like from like all kind of entertainers, how they come out, they are usually separated by themselves before their show starts, even like pastors before they come in, they're not out there doing praise and worship and all that. They come out after they've been set and had time to like really think about it. And so Sean, I'm like, because you're probably like the, um, what would you call it? She, she's our top level meditator and of the three of us <laughs> yeah. and she does it the most, but like, can you speak to that about like how it helps like 
you know, keep you from taking in other people's energy and really being able to tune into, tap into yourself. Exactly, exactly what you just said. There's so much energy flowing around you and we're like transmitters. I think I mentioned this at the tour about knowing what we're putting in our ears, knowing what we're watching visually, knowing what kind of types of conversations we're having with people. All of that stuff matters. And a lot of times we wonder why we're confused and we wonder why we don't feel good or we wonder why we feel so weighed down or energetically like, you know, heavy. It's because of what we're accepting into our world. And so meditation just allows me to remain and stay centered. And the good part about meditating or the power of being silent is there's many ways to do it. So you don't, you, you don't have to be still and, and wonder what magic is going to happen. You, you don't have to do the self-guided meditation. One of my other favorite things to do is just to play a song on repeat over and over and over. Oh, and what yeah. happens is it takes you away. You get so far removed from the song and the lyrics and the instruments that you just get into this space of just being. Mm-hmm. And that's all it is. It's just a space of just being. That's what yoga does for you. That's another reason why I love to do yoga because if you're not concentrated and you're not focused, you're going to fall. Mm-hmm. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yourself. <laughs> really get into your caresses and be still Mm -hmm. so it's hard for me to function it's like eating and drinking I cannot and will not and I refuse to deal with anybody in this world with their baggage or anybody or challenges that doesn't belong to me or anything of that nature and so having a high level of awareness and clarity helps Mm -hmm. you come back and then it helps you to continue to do what you're supposed to be doing for your life and for your purpose, which in essence makes you a happier person. Yeah, definitely. I just know for Linda, it could be like <clears throat> watching TV, like right? Like exactly. when you have your downtime, you just be watching TV and kind of zoned out. Like, yeah, you're not processing all this other stuff and everybody else's emotions. And because it's television, you're able to like separate yourself from, from that. Like you're not taking in and mm-hmm. those emotions because like, oh, this is tv because oh, it's character yeah. it's, it's character also, yeah. My mom, yeah my mom is a big tv movie person mm-hmm. too and mm-hmm. i believe if i'm not mistaken she may text me if i'm wrong but i believe that my mom she will text you if you're will. <laughs> i believe that that's one of the greatest things that she likes is that it unplugs her from the reality of the craziness of what's Mm -hmm. going on in the world so i totally agree with that jeanette that is another form it's just a way to just take you away to zone out um and to just you know but at the same time you want to be careful with the tvs and the movies and stuff because it can also be a distraction so you got to be how you use it because it could be a distraction from you being silent it could be a distraction from you getting your clarity it could be a distraction i'm not a big tv it could be a procrastination tool but yeah yeah it, yeah, it definitely can be you can find but, yourself just sitting there right you know if you, you can use it for mm-hmm. entertainment you know it's different mm-hmm. but if you, if it's your end all be all because you don't want to deal with your clarity or you don't yeah. want to silence right. and you don't want to know what your inner thoughts and that that could be a you know that may not work really well mm-hmm. yeah it, but it could be a thing like you said like when you're you know overwhelmed or stressed or something like that and you just need a moment to just like regroup yourself like let me mm-hmm. just go do this because i have a friend like she does she can't stand self-help books so she calls them um <clears throat> common sense shit like she was like <laughs> People make money off of this common sense stuff. Like, shouldn't they know this already? I'm like, shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> but so she likes um, fiction, but like, you know, sci- not sci-fi, but whatever it is. But anyway, she likes stuff that's not real. Like, she doesn't even want to read, like, books that are about, like, you know, people falling in love and all the drama in families and things like, you know, they're fiction. She's like, but this is still too close to reality. I need mm-hmm. something that completely separates me from reality when I read. And she said, because I have enough of that in my life. So I need this moment. Separate me from reality and then I can come back and deal with the, the stuff that's really happening. Because like you said, sometimes you do take in. So, like, there's certain... um 
movies or documentaries and things like that I can't watch at certain times of the day like I have to prepare myself mentally to watch certain things and so you can end up taking in some type of negative energy um, depending on what you're watching or listening to like you said so it's also if you do use it for like an escape but still being mindful of what it is that you're actually putting into your ear because we all know like even with music some music can like if you're if, if I'm driving and somebody in the tick me off and I put on you know certain type of music it's going to just rev up that energy even more I'm really yeah. going to be on like a thousand but then there's other music I can put on that will just bring me back down like, okay just relax calm down yeah. Yeah. so you also have to be mindful because some sometimes your music it it, it can definitely you know shift your posture and like you know mm-hmm get you get you hype right yeah, you're thinking you bad <laughs> thinking you bad like you know <laughs> y'all see what happened on busy bone that, uh, yes that club, yes yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> you going crazy talking about put the middle fingers to the haters over there and all this you just had a club up and then you want to i know that's all right yeah Lord. Um, yeah yeah tear verses up that's what they did yeah, how about that that was a mess yeah get your people shana get your people, get your people. Listen, all i can say to myself was this is this is this is clevelanders like it was yeah. almost as if this was yep this is this is who yeah yep this is part of you know this is part of the deal yeah, yeah, yeah. were they in cleveland when they did that versus well, no, busy bone is from cleveland they was in he's LA. From cleveland. They okay was in LA. okay LA now. yeah Lord. and they, they technically don't do a lot of concerts with him mm. in all in all honesty you know he does he, he does have you know some mental yeah. challenges mm-hmm. he's gotten help and that kind of stuff and that's another thing is like knowing your triggers you know yeah yeah and i'm putting yourself in situations yeah, where you're yeah, going he, to was in a, he was in a situation where he you know but what i loved about the whole thing but was that he you know he was able to regroup recollect himself come back apologize genuinely mm-hmm. oh yeah you know? and i didn't like um what the young lady said from the other group she was she was really tearing into him and really taking advantage of what she knew about his mental oh, his mental, uh, oh yeah that was a low blow that was not cool at mm-hmm. yeah, I knew that part. <laughs> and oh. thought it was funny and it wasn't cute it wasn't becoming it wasn't none of that it made her look really bad actually mm. um i don't know how we got on this t- <laughs> but <laughs> one, because i also feel like it's because she got caught up in that like because we we're talking about what you put in into so y'all playing all these get crunk this this and that and she got caught up in the moment and, then, and you know that banter that back and forth and you know yeah and it just went there yeah yeah you do have to have you have to have balance and harmony what you <clears throat> bring in like i i watch like a lot of today show i think miss nancy she watches the she she's either abc or, or cbs we were actually talking about how we like the differences between the shows and i was like well i'm a today show nbc girl and she was like oh i like you know um, the other folks. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we're going to talk about that. But a lot of it too is like, some of it is like research, especially for what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of like, oh, that'd be a great topic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> recommendations. But then there's times where I need my fast and furious. I just want to sit there. I need some action, the expendables, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> whatever it might be. Yeah. It's uh, that's like, my thing but it just it really you really have to zone in and really know when it's time to be silent and sitting still mm-hmm. and being still so i mean sometimes sitting still doesn't mean you're you're quiet quiet but it also it gives you sort of that foundation and that baseline to to get yeah. there yeah so why do y'all no, think i'll oh, go ahead another thing that i like to do if it's hard for anyone to be silent is to turn off all the lights light a few candles and just look at the flame i'm going Ooh. to sleep i'm going to sleep this is what's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> yo and that happened in um the parents and lounge twice <laughs> oh yeah like that's that. yes man let me tell you shout out to our girl kinga because uh I was pregnant and we was doing meditate. It happened twice. And she does that ending part. So we did our yoga and then she does like the whole, like, and she's like, oh, calm and yes. girl. And King goes like, is she okay? Cause I didn't, I was like, I'm out. My whole body just like, yep, I'm relaxed now. I'm going to sleep. And Sean was like, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She just sleeping. Yeah. I was like eight months pregnant. 
That, oh my goodness, I remember that. Remember? So yeah. I have a quick activity to do right here, right now for our heartbeats and for ourselves. And so I have these chimes in which you can get, you know, through the Asian culture and the African culture and the Caribbean culture, so many different cultures, Indian mm -hmm. cultures with the chimes. And I'm going to hit it together and you want to just close your eyes and just listen to the sound. And as the sound fades out, then you can open up your eyes. You ready? So if y'all are driving and listening to this, please don't close yes, your please eyes. Don't do that. Yeah, thank you for that. But discussion. for everyone else, <laughs> if you're not driving, we encourage you to take a moment and we're going to practice what we preach. Right. Ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready, you can open up your eyes. I don't know about you, but for me, I had complete silence. I didn't have any noise going on in that short amount of time. Well, I wish I could say this. <laughs> <laughs> of you. <laughs> because of the, just my household, it just is what oh. it is. It's just a lot of people in here. But, um, but still, it was still good. It, it allowed me to take some deep breaths because that's something that... Um, I learned I did not do right is um like there is a a way to like breathe deeply and things like that and that's something mm -hmm. that you know I practice a little bit like through like yoga and meditation and stuff like that so it did allow me to like and like take some intentional like deep breaths yeah yeah I was it was completely silent probably for what you're the opposite of what you were saying Janetta it's nobody here well, they're here but they're asleep so they're upstairs uh, the floors yeah. up and so it's really, really quiet. No, no phones going off. No, no nothing. So mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, it's just me and my little space heater because it's cold. <laughs> and then <laughs> just the, just us. Yeah. The space heater. Glad you mentioned that. So another idea is having some white noise in the background. So right mm -hmm. now, man, I have a little fan in here. And when I walk in here, that's all I hear. And it's just, it puts me in a, you know, it centers yeah. me. So, and you know, the white noise machine that they have for the baby, mm -hmm. you can use it for yourself. You don't have to do yeah, purchase for that sure. for baby. <laughs> and yeah. you can pop, pop those in your room. And, or if you have Alexa, you can ask Alexa to play certain musics. Like uh, mm -hmm. I had a friend, she reached out to me the other day. She was having a hard time calming her mind and she had a couple of sleepless nights. And so I encouraged her to go on YouTube and to pull up some of the water Mm -hmm. um, water sounds that they have, mm -hmm. like waterfall, sound, waterfall sounds. They also have Native American flute. I love that Native American flute. Like a whole hour, mm -hmm. you can listen to flutes. And even though you're working and you're doing tasks, there's a way to calm yourself down while you're still working. So yeah, there's, a, there's a I think it's Spotify station that I listen to when I really want to get focused and do work. Like when I'm working, and I want to focus. Um, I don't listen to music with words um, and it's like a productivity um, playlist, but it's just all instrumental and it's just very calming, but it gives, like, I can't work in complete silence because then I don't get much done, but um, having like something, but not having the words because then it doesn't distract me from what I'm doing. Yeah. But the good news about what you just said, Jeanette, is you can't listen to you can't work in complete silence, right? Because you will say it again. Oh, I would lose focus. Like I can't focus in complete silence. Like mm -hmm. if I'm working, it makes because I get tired, or then like I feel like I can hear my my thoughts more when it's like completely silent. I'm like trying to focus on when one task. You need, when you need to slow down, and when you need to be silent, that's what you use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So knowing how you tick is another way to figure yeah. out so you save that and reserve that for man i need to get silent right now or i need to calm down and instead of like playing the maybe like the crump music mm -hmm. play that yeah the other thing is 
I'm a big jazz person. I think you ladies are too, you like jazz. Um, and I listen to jazz a lot. I have a jazz playlist. Um, and I love when I, when I don't want it completely like, when I don't want to be like completely on the Boney James or the Kenny G style, I'll do the hip hop jazz by Street Block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll get all the, maybe like the 50 cent it'd be a little bop to it but it's right still it. yeah you, know, you still got some music and you still feel it's some you know some Give you energetic like upbeat mm-hmm. yes. yeah. yeah i like yeah. that I, I like that too yeah i i can't work in complete silence i have to have something like either, whether it's tv background noise or whether i'm listening to i listen to a lot of books on audible so yeah. I'm, I'm listening to something or maybe other podcasts or our podcasts. I'll have it like really turn low. And I know I, can, I can't have like the TV or any of that stuff blaring loud because I do my best focus work when I have something on that I can hear a little bit of and I am knocking it out the park. Yeah. That's when I know that, you know, because most of the client work that I do for like editing and things like that, I do that on the weekends. So that really, really helps because I know during the week it's, you know, it's hard to the ground my job my my, you know where I work and stuff like that can't really do much in that arena so I already know that so it's like all right I know my weekends are going to be that focus time you know delivering things and you know even during the week when I'm working I you know it's hard for me like to be like silent silent just being on zoom all day in the meetings and all that (laughs) it's like I could be over here doing you know what I'm saying like and I you know building out presentations and things like that I still have to have something going on even if I'm doing it if I'm not the principal speaker for the meetings but y'all didn't hear that um <laughs> so <laughs> but I do get a lot done in, in that so yeah but I know when it's time to be silent or have that silence whether it's just like all right now I know I can't do it during work so when can I do it is it a it's not always scripted either. Could be different times of the day. Mm-hmm. Maybe after my workouts. And we touched a little bit about that, you know, finding what works for you as far as like, you know, working out and exercise. So maybe it's after that time because I'm already whew, so amped up in that mode that I've got to bring myself down. So I find that to be like my best time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a friend that every day we started this exercise and we share with each other what we're grateful or thankful for. And the purpose of the activity is as the day comes through, when challenges happen, or we feel like we need to calm ourselves in the storms around us, we will revert to what we shared with each other to help us remain centered. Mm -hmm. you You don't have to do this by yourself. You can partner up you know, with someone to help you. And you knowing that that person is doing the same thing that you're doing makes you even more intentional and aware of how to get yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk a lot about that too, just with the three of us, you know, when we started as a mastermind group and then we started coming on Marco Polo, we started with texting, then Marco Polo kind of like there are wins, you know, with holding us accountable, our Friday wins, always a good thing. Uh, I, I love that in that we're able to identify and that we, that we do that. But then we also try to make sure that we each allow each other space to do this. We're actually actively listening to each other and like oh wow that's really great Shauna you had this or Jeanette you had that Mm -hmm. for this week and really taking that in and then having the chance to share back you know with the three of us so that's something heartbeats listeners that you know you you can start I think one of you ladies said something about making space for that and just allowing you know you you're silent while the other person is really relaying like what they're grateful for or what Mm -hmm. they accomplished I love that yeah about the marco polo that jeanette um had us all get on um and if you know me i'm not i'm not a big app girl i don't like adding apps and so it's like when that came along i was like we're doing another app okay and then but i fell in love with it and since i've been on this journey for over 20 years to be an active listener marco polo forces you to do that And so it helped me tremendously to listen to the person, share their thoughts, take note on it. And like you said, Linda, go back and reflect on 
what they shared. And if I needed clarity, I'm able to just toss it in there. Like, I wasn't sure what you meant by this. Can you, you know, and it allows the communication to flow in a way that otherwise wouldn't flow if you were in the midst of that person's presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah because me and my friends we have you know and shauna i'm sure you both of y'all like it's something about black families and and hispanic families that we 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 loud we talk loud we talk over each other it's a 50 billion conversation going on and my friends um one of my friends her partner is um a white guy <laughs> and he had never really experienced it i'm not saying that other cultures don't do what we do but i just know from my personal experience and he was sitting there listening to the three of us talk and he was like how do y'all even know what the other one is saying and it was like we we just do we just you know we do but i do like you said appreciate because um because in those moments we're just like having fun we're shooting shit or whatever but i feel like um with marco polo like you said it's or even any space like that, right? Even if it's dropping a voice memo or something or whatever you're gonna, you you might decide to use, it is allowing that person space to just completely say and do what they have to say. I was thinking about, again, Harlem. When, uh, what is, what's the light skin chick? What was her name on there? Oh, uh, Quinn? Quinn. Quinn. Yeah. When they were all going through some stuff and <clears throat> she was trying to say what she was going through and they kept dismissing her. And I was just like, don't nobody hear her talking? Don't nobody mm -hmm. hear her? Mm -hmm. And I finally, she spoke up for herself later in another episode. But like, you know, sometimes our friends and family are going through things as well. And we are back to the earlier comment, not giving them space. And so like a platform like that definitely allows people to one, respond to you and what you're going through, but then also have space to share what they're also going through mm -hmm. as well. And it can be good. It could be good stuff too. It doesn't always have to be like something bad, but it can also be good stuff because sometimes we don't allow people to to shine, right? We don't give them yeah. space to say what the, the great things are happening for them. And then um, it's just, yeah, it's just not a good environment mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or a good way to do or be a friend to someone. Mm -hmm. I like the way the show did that. You know, that's Harlem on Amazon Prime in case you all out there want to check it out or if you already watched it. But yeah, I love the way they did that just with, you know, with, they were all kind of sitting around and I think one of the girls, Ty, was going through something and, you know, just Quinn was just like, well, I have something too, but she was also there for Ty from the very beginning of the things that she went through. So I won't give it away, but you all have to check it out. It's a really great show and yeah, 10 episodes, Amazon Prime if you have it. Yes. Going back to what Jeanette just said, allowing space for others. So the, the beauty of that is when you're allowing space for others, that's the gift that you're, you know, you're giving that person. And in return, you get the gift of being present. Like as much as we talk about, like, I want to be present, I'm trying to figure out how to be present. And then when these opportunities and situations and circumstances come about, we miss those opportunities because we're too busy trying to be in the space at the same time. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. To, you know, sit back and um, be present in listening and, and, and it's reflective work and it's showing comprehension and it's showing love, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's showing love. It's, it's a great love exchange to sit back, allow someone to share their thoughts and then you being present and vice versa. So I was yeah. just thinking about this actually a really great gift giving activity and in a way where we can enjoy both sides of the coin if we just paused and connected with it. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend, she's like a, like a little sister to me and she will sometimes come to my house just to take a nap. And I'm like, you really want, I said, you know how many people is in this house? She was like, yeah, but the, none of them want anything from me. Like, <laughs> like they'll come, they talk to her, they love to see her. But like literally legit, like sometimes she just wants to like hide and, you know, disappear from her environment. <clears throat> and it's like, okay, I'm like we're going to be doing all this other stuff around the house. She's like, oh, I'm just going to go upstairs and lay on the couch. I'm like, all right whatever you need like you know and it's good to, to, to have friends where you don't always have to talk like sometimes y'all can just be yeah. present or in each other's presence 
and and just be like you don't have to say nothing you don't have to be talking you don't have to entertain each other and Mm -hmm. like just giving people that mental space it's like the the energy that you get from someone just being in a room with them without being verbal right like you know you still have vibes and connections and things that flow between the two of you but you can just literally just be there so much power yes yes it is power in what's not being said is Mm -hmm. is is more meaningful than words yeah 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 sometimes it is just being there yeah Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause people are like, oh, I don't know the right thing to say, or especially if somebody's going through something really heavy. It's like, well, I don't mm-hmm. know what to say. They sometimes they don't need you to say anything. They just need you to just be there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Even they if they fall asleep on you. That. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're really good with that. That's why oh, you well, thank you. Jesus. Well, thank you. No yeah. superpower. Yeah. Just <laughs> it's superpower. Yeah. But yeah. Very good. Love this topic, ladies. The power of silence. Yes, and I wow. feel like we use our words, and now we're like we have, we we have, yep. <laughs> was that a mic? That's a pin drop. No, it was my mic drop. I'm okay, not, I'm not dropping this mic. Oh, I'm not dropping this mic either. <laughs> this, that's why it's over there, it's there, right me. here. Yeah. I just see it flat on a flat surface. This yes, is, yes, this it is, is a representation yes, it is. of the mic drop, but um, because there's nothing else, there's really nothing else to say. Like, I mean, I feel like we've said it all, no. and. I know people struggle with being silent and like Shauna said in previous episodes of other things, like when you're trying to practice something new, just do small doses, take five minutes, sit in the closet, take five minutes, sit in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sit there and close your eyes. When you come home from work, I've done this a million times. A lot of moms and and just people in general can relate. Just sit in my car and frame my driveway for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. like, let this stuff go the day is yes. done we're gonna go in here with a fresh mind like you know mm-hmm. but just start small with taking time for yourself and then also in other situations knowing when to just stop talking sometimes yeah yeah great yes ladies great topic that's excellent thing. yes thank you thank you thank you thank you anything else ladies you want to share before shauna takes us out no i think that's it ladies you good oh. Yeah. I love your flame in the background. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You can find the Heart of Chat on all of your major platforms all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> and please come back next week and every week because it's going to be Fuego Baby. Come back. <laughs> all right. Bye, ladies. Bye, ladies.